It's always lovely to get back into this sort of family because, you know, I've been in it for 15 years and obviously I've known Tom for a long time and Ving as well, both. Um, and so it's always a reunion when we see each other, you know, and it's always a delight. And we always get very excited. We talk a lot about crushing it. You know, we do a lot of fist bumping and giggling and uh, it's it's lovely. And But then also to uh, to welcome in new people. And we were straight off into locations. So we were in Norway and, and, and Italy. And that, that time we were all spent in a, in a hotel together. And because of COVID um, protocols, we all had to kind of eat in a dining room. So we spent so much time together. So we all bonded very quickly. So the new family expanded at quite a um, alarming rate. If the audience see Tom actually doing something, it, it's, it, it's so much more effective than, you know, using VFX. I think you can make anyone do anything these days. You see people, you see these big super creatures having fights with each other and punching each other all over the sky. And it just, you're just like, meh. If you see someone actually doing it and you know that they're doing it, there's an added degree of tension there. There's a frisson that you have of like, oh my God, they did that. So when people watch Tom go off that cliff, they won't only be thinking about Ethan, you know, on his mission. They'll be thinking, that's actually Tom. And that adds something to the experience of watching the movie because there's genuine jeopardy. I mean, he just has a really great understanding of the source material and, um, you know, he, he would be the first to kind of admit that he has grown as a director since, even since Rogue Nation. And he just really understands what this is. He knows how to tell stories. You know, he's, a, he's an expert at that. Him and Tom collaborate beautifully. They have a great understanding of each other and they really respect each other. And it's great to see them sort of work together. The mission films are big movies. And, you know, the scope of them, the way McHugh shoots them, the way they're lit, the way they're staged, it, it, it begs to be seen on as big a screen as possible. Um, not only that, the, the experience of watching a film like this with a whole group of people and sharing the emotion of it, it's a huge part of how much you enjoy the film, I think. You can watch a film on your own and love it, but there is, a, there is something that you get from watching a film with a whole group of people and all of you gasp at the same time and all of you laugh at the same time and you jump at the same time and you look over at people you don't know and you're all experiencing this crazy thing. The relief, the terror. I remember when I watched Fallout with, uh, with um, Angela Bassett and Henry Cavill, we watched it together in a cinema and I just held on to Henry's bicep for the entire film because I was so scared. It's the people, it's the community of cinema. That is what is important. And this experience, Mission Impossible, when it's so tense and so exciting and so enjoyable and you're so invested in the characters because you know them so well. It's a really lovely shared experience to have.